just like that, <laughs> you know. People, mm, at a certain age they start feeling little funny <laughs> and uh, if they speak that it looks ugly, so they start saying nothings to each other. They call it sweet nothings but they start saying nothing to each other and then they do something. <laughs> Lot of nothing, 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 one something, you're there. <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> if you're asking why in terms of what is the purpose of my birth, hmm? What if there is no purpose? This question, what is the purpose of my birth, arises only because somewhere your experience of life has become quite meaningless. You want some God-ordained purpose for your existence. You wouldn't ask this. Right now if your head is blown away in ecstasy, if every cell is bursting in ecstatic experience, you wouldn't ask, why am I born, isn't it? You're sitting there, this damn satsang, the legs are falling asleep, <laughs> hmm? everything is hurting. Now, why am I born? <laughs> what is the purpose of this pain? That's what you're asking <laughs> If you are bursting with ecstasy, you wouldn't ask, why am I born? Isn't it so? Would you, I'm asking you? No. So first thing you have to do is, you have to transform your experience of life. If you are not blissful, what I have to say, you will not understand. You will not understand because you are coming from the a certain kind of experience of life. I seem very arrogant and irresponsible, which I'm not but <laughs> it seems like that because uh, I'm coming from an intoxicated experience of life. You are sober and legs are hurting. <laughs> For you, why am I born is a big question. For me, it's a joke. So first you must transform your experience and then look for the answer because in your present condition if you look for the answer, you will come to all kinds of wrong, condition, wrong conclusions. So uh, with pain in your leg, if you ask why am I born, immediately I could have told you, I could have gathered lots of miserable people around me as most spiritual gatherings are. If I tell you God is testing you, <laughs> God is testing you, then you won't move. It doesn't matter, the leg is going crazy <laughs> The leg is singing songs but God is testing me, I must pass the test <laughs> hmm? Your own expectations you fail, it's okay, but God's expectation can you fail? <laughs> so, what if there is no purpose? And there is no purpose. Life is a purpose unto itself, it doesn't need any purpose. This question comes up because you have not tasted the grandeur of life. This question comes up because you have not realized the immensity of what it means to be human. So if that experience comes into you, then you will not ask why, because why is irrelevant. Who cares why? It's too fabulous, it's too fantastic, it's stupendous. Why would you ask why? <laughs> right now it's meager. Here and there, there are some experiences to keep your life going. 
rest of it is too meager, getting up in the morning, going to the toilet, cooking breakfast, eating, going to the office. Once in a way, one moment of success, once in a way a moment of pleasure, a moment of love, a moment of joy here and there, those things are keeping you going. The rest of it is too meager, isn't it? Isn't it so? That is why this question. If every moment of your life becomes absolutely exuberant and bursting within you, why would be a ridiculous question, isn't it? So this, we can… we can put some enthusiasm into your life saying God is testing you or God is kissing you, hmm? So, they will tell you many things. I'm telling you, there is no purpose to your life if you do not realize the exuberance of your existence. You can invent purposes. If you realize the exuberance of this existence, if you experience the ecstasy of being here, then who the hell is bothered about the purpose?